You guys just got engaged? Is that the situation? Yeah. 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 Keep going for these guys, everybody. I explains why they're getting hammered, because they're both like, fuck, what'd we do? Shit! <laughs> no. This is fun. I'm glad to be here. Fuck yeah, you guys are still drinking Bud Light, that's progressive. Fuck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> She's like... I love how you're just like, no, I'm not progressive. <laughs> I'm not drinking that shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> guys, uh, I've been trying to lose weight, which has been very difficult because it's not true. It's, uh, it's not true at all. <laughs> no, uh, I have been trying to lose weight. I've been doing this thing on the treadmill for like extra motivation. I've been listening to ice cream truck music. <laughs> I turned the volume down so it sounds further away, you know? <laughs> Get a little sweat on. I try to watch stuff like when I'm on the treadmill, or like, you know, cardio machines. I've been watching like the Marvel movies in cinematic order. A lot of people do that. I started with Spider-Man, Ant-Man. I had to stop when I got to uh, Human Centipede. I don't know what... <laughs> that must be a DC movie or something. It's pretty dark. No. I like running outside. It's a fun thing to do. I ran 10 miles recently. Yes, thank you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> that chick had crazy stamina. It's the uh, longest alleyway I've ever been down. <laughs> but, uh, Mama didn't raise no quitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I did recently lose 30 pounds. That's the thing that happened. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, yes. I'm so close to sucking my own penis now that I can taste it. <laughs> wow, man. I'm a swallower, though, so I probably just gain all that weight right back. <laughs> so, you don't have to worry. We'll be all right. I don't have to suck my own dick, because uh, I'll have a wife in one month, everybody. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know what you said. <laughs> I'm not very happy about it, you know? The shipping said five to seven business days, so... I think someone stole that shit off my porch or something. I gotta get one of those ring doorbells. Now, I have a real wife, and... Um, we have, uh, we have sex, we have to do it doggy style every time because uh, I sweat a lot and uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have that problem. I don't want her to deal with the fucking Chinese water torture while she's trying to, you know, just fucking sodium droplets on her forehead while she's trying to fake an orgasm, you know what I mean? It's hard to concentrate. So we do it, you know, that way. She thinks that I don't, uh, you know, that I might be gay because I don't make a lot of noise when we have sex. And I have to explain to her, it's hard to be loud when I'm face down on the pillow. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't care if I'm on top or bottom, as long as we're in doggy. That's all that matters. Because I wasted all these years searching for the G spot, and it turns out it's in my own asshole. Everybody. I guess the lesson there is to look within. That's, that's what Confucius said. Now, my wife really wants uh, uh, to have a baby. He can't get one that way. But uh, trust me, we've tried. <laughs> and it's like all she talks about. Her birthday is coming up, so I can't wait to surprise her with the one I already have. It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna wrap it up for her. Uh, might come out of a cake. Huh? Cause you gotta keep every baby now, you know? This abortion's fucking, you know? It's just, that's just the sound it makes. <laughs> I don't mean to get too political, sorry. That's, that's out of left field. I hate when people tell me their political opinions, they come up to me, they're like, I'm a libertarian. It's like, okay, well, I'm a fucking Hufflepuff. What do you want me to do? My pronouns are mud and blood. What do you... <laughs> now, here's something I don't understand, though. I don't understand why uh, people think that the term midget is a slur, because um, it's not. It's not. 
It's not derogatory, you know? Nobody hates midgets. It's not, it's not like there's a president on TV that's like, we're gonna build a wall and Munchkin Land's gonna pay for it. <laughs> Get these Oompa Loompas out of my country. <laughs> be a pretty cheap wall, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Wouldn't take that many taxes to fucking build the curb to keep those <laughs> No. Oh, yes. We see uh, the street sign a lot lately that I don't understand. You see one of these signs that say like, uh, deaf child at play? You know what I mean? Who are those for? <laughs> How am I supposed to know which ones are deaf? <laughs> why, why does that make a difference? I'm not leaning out the window of my car like, ah, ah he's deaf. Ah, it's fucking go around, little Jimmy. <laughs> Billy can hear, so floor it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just put up an invisible fence. Keep him out of the road. <laughs> Nobody. Then it's nobody's problem. That one bugs me particularly because I was always taught to look both ways before I cross the street, you know? I don't know what kind of fucking Hulk Hogan bullshit these kids are doing. <laughs> you do it both ways. You better eat your vitamins and say your prayers if there's not an SUV coming. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get out of here before I go. On 9-11, <laughs> was a long time ago. <laughs> I just always wonder, you guys think there's some people in the second tower that wanted to leave, but their boss was like, well, there's no way that's gonna happen twice. That would be insane. On the same day, it's a fucking office pizza party, for crying out loud. No, get back to work. <laughs> All right, everybody, peace out, thank you.